Hello, I'm Andata Fraga. I'm a visual artist. Um, my name's Lorna Barrowclough and I'm also a visual artist. Um, the project that we're working on is called Curiosity and we're looking at working with objects um, to do with the sea and sort of seeing how those or seeing how we respond to those through our four basic um, our framework. So we basically decided on four major themes to kind of help us go through the research process and the, the themes are distance, identity, physicality of the sea and survival. And so we'll use this as a kind of framework to go back to all the time when we're looking at different collections and different objects from the sea. And the project is being supported by History Arts and they're supporting us with some funds for the project and with some space and resources. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is the exhibition space and access to equipment and also time um, to do the project. We are both based at Patrick Studios, part of East Street Arts. Um, we've been here for a few years now mm -hmm. and this is the first time we're going to work together as a collaboration. My work is mainly drawing and video and photography. Uh, recently, all of 2013, last year, I was artist in residence at the Maritime Historical Studies Centre part of the University of Hull and that was a project funded by the Leverhulme Trust. And I was to create, I, I made a new body of work in response to the whaling archives of Hull, because Hull was quite an important port for whaling and I think some of that is going to come through towards this project, kind of the relationship with whaling. And whereas I was coming from um, a more ritualistic and superstitious that idea of customs and traditions and heritage, um, looking at the social engagement we have with the sea. Um, my work as a whole generally looks at the precious and the non-precious, and it is heavily um, object-based. So it kind of made sense that we started speaking to one another and wanting to work with one another, and it was very much a, an organic relationship that's kind of grown from our conversations. And over the last year we've both been concentrating on, on the sea as a main theme in our work and we realised that we approach the theme from quite different methodologies mm. but there's a lot of common ground between the two themes and even though there's apparent differences we thought it'd be really interesting to actually put our skills together and our process together and see what comes out of it and also the main part of the project is also about research so we actually want to visit many of the major collections that hold uh, important maritime um, instruments and objects and some of them are in the UK and some of them are abroad. So that's one of the big areas of the research is just actually go and actually access these places. And I suppose the main challenge we face as mm. any other artist and project is funding. So this is why we're doing the Kickstarter campaign to actually help for us to develop this project and mainly also to focus on the production of the work at the end and um, there will be an arts publication mm -hmm. alongside the project which will be launched as well as with the exhibition in, in next year. Um, so yeah, the main challenge is time and money, <laughs> as usual. Yes, so this is where you come in. <laughs> if you would like to support us, um, if you would like to get involved, we're always welcome to have emails and getting, you know, finding out about our project and as Hondarza said about our blog, you can follow us on that and find out what we're up to date with things and, and give your input. But if you would like to support us, we do have a range of different ways in which you can do through the yeah. Kickstarter. So please feel free to look down the side, see if anything interests you. Um, and yeah, sign up.